go to George in Clanridian. Hello, George. Hello there, Ed. OK. Reaction to Adam? Uh, I don't know his name. I was going to ask you that. Is that the guy from Tenerife who's on holiday, yeah? He was on holiday in right. Tenerife and he had a gay fling. Uh, much to his own surprise, he's 18. Right. Well, his age could be largely relevant in this. Well, there's a lot of people... I didn't look at my real name, but a similar... Well, a couple of years when I was about the same age. Now, you hit the nail on the head, possibly, when you talked about experimenting. Now, you may have just hit a phase where he's just looking into his sexuality or, you know, it could be a one-off. He may be gay. He may be bisexual. But this, you know, this is a sort of age where he will discover this for himself, one way or the other. All right. As uh, you've commented, past, com past comment on his age, what age are you, George? I'm 48. Right. And did you, 30 years ago, uh, have a similar dilemma or fling or I mean, experimentation? I mean, a different world we lived in then, okay? Yeah, but you just have to be quieter about it. It doesn't mean that you do different things. Oh, yes, obviously, but in those, in those days, like, well, like he said, he's, his mum was aware of it, right? Now, the thought of me, when I was 18, going up to my mum and saying that I had feelings of a sexual nature for another man, or oh, especially saying that to my dad, yes. right? that would not have been an option. He would have brought his belt to you? Um, very, very possibly. Very possibly, yes. But it doesn't stop you actually doing it. So, well, so did nothing you... will stop you, you know, because it, there's, a, there's, a, there's a force inside you driving you. Did you have that driving force? I did at, at one point. I, I, I think, but that, that's what I say about experiment, experimenting. For me, it was more of a phase. Just before you carry on, I'm not cutting you off, um, we've had an 18-year-old and a 48-year-old. Um, let's go to the next generation. I'm addicted to using my grandfather's pipe. It's amazing. <laughs> well, <laughs> what could you say to that? What would your dad have said if you'd borrowed his pipe, George? Um, he, well, my dad was rock, right? He was a towering man. Um, I don't know. So, touch his pipe. You, it would have been like touching his wife. You know, not so much to me, but to another man. Yes. You know, his crack pipe. So you're... You're hiding a, a feeling, or you hid a feeling, because you didn't dare let it out? Is that what you're saying? Um, did, did you actually have a relationship uh, like yes, Adam? I did. In, in university, I did. Right. That was, in them days, um, in university... That was somewhere where you could sort of admit in certain circles that you were gay or you were, you know, seeing men and women. But it wasn't the norm in other walks of society. In universities, that was one of the few places where gay men could sort of hang about in groups, if you like, socially. Yes. Sucking cock. Oh, you idiot. You really are... I don't know, he comes on with a mature voice and he comes on with a place other than just say Swansea.